Welcome back to the collection. Today we have a one that I'm not particularly um, invested in, but a cool pre-order bonus. Um, this is for Prince of Persia, Warrior Within. This is the sequel to Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. I think one of the reasons I'm not into The Warrior Within is that Sands of Time was so incredibly good. Uh, Warrior Within tried to take the, the early 2000s emo, <laughs> just like overload, uh, and turn it completely dark, which I appreciate. I appreciate the prince getting like a real dark treatment, especially after um, like the whole setup, the stuff like you have the dagger, you've messed with time, and now time is coming to set things right. I think the dahaka is what it's called. Uh, it was like a hound that chased after you. Anyways, that's not this thing. This is this is a pre-order box. These used to sit on uh, store shelves. And there was a, a nice movement in the early 2000s to get PC games. PC games traditionally came in whatever size box they felt like making. There were crazy hexagonal boxes and like boxes that came in like parts that slid apart and then the, the CD cases were inside. Uh, but I have I only have a few PC games. So we got Half-Life 2, Tribes of Vengeance. They all had about the same size and then they would do like a, you know, a front fold type of thing. Uh, it was a real great movement to get PC games to come in the same size boxes finally, and like decent sized. Uh, they're I think they're a little bit bigger than a DVD case, obviously thicker. Uh, but this one, this was a pre-order box that would have sat on a store shelf, and it it says back here to reserve your copy, bring this box, and then you get you get the box, and you get in this case a 36-page art book, uh, which we're going to take a look at here. I guess this is an unboxing. Most of uh, these sized PC games boxes came with this little insert to kind of protect or hold things in place, like if you had the, the CD case and the manual. Uh, but for our, uh, for our purposes here, this is the book. I'm going to slide the, micro, uh, the camera down. Hold on, sorry about the wiggles. Ugh, I think I got it get a little closer for this book. Don't be shy. I think it's lined up okay. Um, hold on, let me smell it. Ah, oh, it still smells so fresh. If you'd like this, uh, let me know. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of Prince of Persia Warrior Within, so I just kind of held on to this one. This was, um, I believe I got this from Blockbuster. I definitely didn't pre-order this game. So here's our 36-page art book, Ubisoft. It's, uh, it's nice, thick cardstock, but it is not the best print job. So I'm just kind of going to go through, oh boy, hopefully, let it focus on each page. I'm not going to read all of this out loud on this one. If you'd like to take a look, feel free to pause. I'm just going to try and hold all of this down. I don't, uh, I kind of flipped through here. I didn't immediately recognize any names, so I don't, don't have a whole lot to, to add about this one. I did, um, before the game came out, I might have had a, uh, a modified original Xbox, and I had downloaded a preview copy of the game, which I thought was supposed to be the, there it is, the Dahaka. Uh, I thought was supposed to be the final version of the game. So I played it, and uh, there were things that would happen, like uh, the prince's body would disappear, uh, so that all that was left was his head and the whichever two weapons you were holding. So that was funny. Uh, there's a great clip. I think I've actually got it. I'll see if I can find it and link to it in the description down below. Scroll down below to the description. For the link, uh, I think I have a, a very old... I forget what this girl's name is. She was kind of cool looking. Um, there's a very old video I took off of a TV... Uh, where another glitch happened that uh, I'm sure did not happen in the final game because it got decent scores. Uh, that is not the Dahaka, but I feel like it is. Uh, yeah, pretty good glitch. I think I have a screenshot. I think I have a screenshot from a video of a camera pointed at a TV of the uh, the two heads thing, so, or the no body thing. Uh, let's see. Now we're getting into the Prince design. Uh, not that prince, this prince, the prince of Persia. The prince and warrior within is a hardened, more mature version of his former self. Is this lined up? 
Now a master warrior, he is stronger, tougher, and self-confident, but also embittered by the brutal fate that pursues him. His death cannot be evaded. That was a great setup, like a great concept for it. I was really into it. Oh, come on, focus. You can do it. There we go. Just got to get the hands in there. Got to do the... Uh... Now I'm just making it unfocus again. I love the setup. Um, I think before I saw the game, just getting the, the, the thing about the Dahaka and the dagger, the time, like, chasing him. I mean, I was, I was so into it at one point. I took some artwork. I think this artwork and made a, a custom theme for the modded Xbox. It's pretty into it. But then it came out and I just it turned out to not be what I wanted. So here's some more prints. I wanted more braggart prints. Uh, not 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 so much skull skull Vikings or whatever they are. Let's see. Uh, I feel like I fought this dude a whole lot. Guy with a red turban over his head. So now we're up to environment designs. That's looking pretty sharp on my my phone screen anyways. I hope these are looking all right in 4K for anyone who's watching them in 4K. Uh, again, I at this point, I still do not have a, a 4K display of my own to watch it on. I, I don't think that my phone screen is 4K, but it tells me that it's recording at 3,860 by... 2180 maybe I forget what the size is and again I do not have the processing power on my laptop to edit render and upload such huge videos but we'll get there we'll get there surely a new PC is in my future at some point uh, and then they went on from this is a little too wide to fit all the way in here, but I'll try. Then they went on and made, uh, what was the third one? Throne Kings? King of Thrones? Two Twin Thrones? I know Throne is in the title. And I really, really didn't care for that one. They, they literally doubled down on the dark emo by making there be two princes that were, one was dark, I think one was the prince from Warrior Within, and then the other one was like an even darker prince. Like a shadow of him or something? I, I really, I kind of stopped paying attention at that point. Uh, and then the next one that looked the most interesting was what they did in 2008, where they like rebooted the whole Prince of Persia thing. This is a terrible layout for a very dark piece of artwork. <laughs> okay, and we've reached the end. And, and that one in 2008, I didn't even play. I wound up managing to not play it, even though it seemed more like uh, two... Tw what I'm getting it, Prince of Pur Sands of Time. It seemed more like Sands of Time than anything that came after it, and I still managed to miss it. Uh, I do not recognize any of the artist names. Yanis Malat, kind of familiar. Might have gone on to Assassin's Creed stuff. So there we go. There's our 36 page Prince of Persia Warrior Within pre order art book. And. I'll just stick it back in the box and leave this here. Kind of in frame, kind of artistic. I'll need a thumbnail for this video, so there we go. There, there, there it is. That's not doing anything for me. Thanks for watching. Here's a good thumbnail. Half-Life 2. Thanks for watching. See, see you in the next video.